Welcome back, everybody. Helping you live healthy. A new research released today from the American Heart Association found that high blood pressure at any age might speed cognitive decline. So here to break down this study is Dr. Carlos Zamora, a cardiologist at Baptist Health and also a volunteer with the American Heart Association. Good morning, Dr. Zamora. Good morning. All right, so tell us a little bit about the new findings in the study. Yeah, so this was an interesting study of 7,000 people. They analyzed data on a 59-year-old average uh, population on how high blood pressure affects the cognitive function of these patients, even when they have high normal blood pressure. So we're talking about patients that have a top blood pressure number of 120 or above. Hmm. And most interestingly, they found that even people that had high blood pressure but then were properly treated, they did better than people that were not treated. So this is very important for a public health perspective as blood pressure is very common in our population. Yeah, are these long-term cognitive issues or are they resolved once the blood pressure is maintained properly? Yeah, it's a good question. So they follow patients for only four years. That's a short period of time if you take into account uh, one lifespan. And they found that in during that short period of time, people that were not treated declined and people that were treated did better. So there's always time to catch up and be better in your heart health. Yeah, and that brings us to a good point. You know, a lot of times high blood pressure does go undiagnosed. So why is it so important that people are checking it? You know, maybe you need a blood pressure monitor or a cuff at home. Yes, uh, roughly 50% of a U.S. population has hypertension. Uh, that is by numbers, but it doesn't mean that they're properly diagnosed. Especially on this pandemic year, it's important that people still pay attention to the number one killer, which is heart disease. And uh, having a blood pressure cuff or going to your regular primary care visit or taking a measure in the uh, fire station or on the market so you know your number. That is very important. Yeah, it's so important. You know, we used to do our Ticket to Heart event, and we had so many people that came in that they were not maintaining their blood pressure just by not taking their medication. So that's also very important. Um, I want to talk to some of the changes, you know, that doctors are doing and implementing in hospitals to try to encourage people to live healthier and make sure that they're checking those numbers. Yeah, we have several initiatives, and we do have a uh, Get With The Guidelines. That is something co-developed by the AHA and the hospitals adopted. And it boils down to really knowing your number. You really have to know your number. Uh, these were all middle age and elderly population. And uh, if you don't know your number, you don't know what you're dealing with. This is a silent killer. And we have to dig deeper to find out what's the problem here. Yeah, and just want to mention, the American Heart Association has their program um, called Target BP, and then there's also the program Get With The Guidelines. That's an in-hospital program. You know, I think anytime that we can remind people how important it is to take care of their health, to eat healthy, to exercise, the better. And now that we're seeing, you know, that cognitive decline, we know that our heart and our head work hand in hand. So thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you for having me.